What's up guys, Trevor here with G&G &G Elite DBS team and I'm coming at you guys with a deck profile. I play Lord Slug this weekend. Uh, Friday we had a win a box and Saturday we had a release tournament. Friday I played a little bit different of a list than what you guys see on the screen. I had Overrealm in the deck. Overrealm just seemed to conflicted with the deck and how it's supposed to be played and run. So Saturday I ended up changing a few things and I think it ran a little bit smoother which is today's build that I'm showing you guys. Uh, we we did okay this weekend. Lord Slug seems to have a lot of bad matchups and it just felt bad the whole time playing. The deck is a lot of fun and it's definitely a lot better especially with the wings and a couple of other cards. So we're going to get into the deck. If you guys don't know what Lord Slug does, on his unawakened side you can take a life and he gains crit. This crit can be really good early on in the game because it will deny your opponent resources. Uh, if they take the life they don't get it which is good for us and if they defend it they waste cards which is also good for us and we self awaken. So it's really good either way uh, whatever your opponent does, either way you're going to win. It just feels good all around. Uh, he is an older leader, so when you awaken, you're going to draw two cards. Uh, on his awaken side, you, when you swing, you draw a card. Pretty standard. His activate main is pretty interesting. It doesn't seem good right away, but with this style of deck, it is really good. You activate main once per turn. You discard a card, your opponent discards a card. So this is really good, especially late game when you, your opponent eventually has no cards because it can easily happen and you, say you swing with leader to draw a card uh, they have no cards in hand so they have to take the life they have one card in hand you pitch a card they pitch that one card so it's really good especially if you don't have the crit pressure it is fantastic there is a card that you want to always pitch if you have it we'll get to that in a little bit but let's jump into the deck uh, it's not my I don't want to do it in this order, but DBS Dex uh, organizes it in a certain way, so we'll just do it in order. Uh, first we have two Champa. This card is really good and two of is perfectly fine. I wouldn't run any more. You could run one if you want to. It's not necessary, but if you have an early game, it can really hurt your opponent. So two, it put in work. Up next we have three of the new Sun Gohan one drop. It's a really good card. I basically treat it like Boo, you just play it, draw a card. Uh, the activate main did come in handy a little bit. Most of the time you're not going to do that because you're going to be spending your energy on your slug cards. But you can pay two green, he gets 15,000 power and crit. So it can come in handy because the crit is just super nice when your opponent doesn't have a hand. Or even if they have a low hand, you're just denying them resources and it, it's it's awesome. Plus 20,000 power is pretty nice. Up next we have the card that basically made this deck what it is. And that is Wings. It's a one drop. It has barrier. Uh, when it's in play, all your Lord Slug cards cost one less. So it's fantastic. You can play If you play this turn one, it's going to accelerate the deck and the deck's just going to be even more powerful. The sooner you get this out, the better. You want to, by turn three, just start discarding and that's going to give you an insane advantage and you honestly, you need to with this deck. So, very good card. Up next, we have the best super combo in the game. This card uh, by itself won me a game this weekend just by looking at two cards instead of your normal one with super combos allow me to uh, out combo my opponent. They were at two life. I was almost tapped out. I had one energy up. I had the Champa for my leader swing and I Paragus and I drew two cards and they were both 5Ks. And I only had one energy, that was for my Champa. So I warped a 1K cost, whatever that was. I want to say it was a six drop slug. And I warped that and I could just play the 5Ks and I uh, out comboed my opponent. So very good, just make sure you guys warp a card when you play it. Up next we have Double Impact Krillin. This card is really good because it's two drop, it's pretty cheap, and it can kill things with or without barrier. So very good. It's gonna answer some uh, cards that will really hurt this deck. So it's needed in the main deck. I sided one uh, this weekend and I would bring it in. If someone has answers to your discard package, you need to play more Krillins. 
if you play against a deck that doesn't really have answers and you don't need to play Krillin, you can easily charge it, you can combo it, you can discard it with your leader effect. There's plenty of other uses, so it's not a dead card. So that's why I put it in the main, and I think it should be in the main. Up next, we have three Lord Slug. This card is really good. This is our tutor uh, because he's going to become a one drop with wings and he's going to help get out our bond two pretty easily. Um, you can search for any Lord Slug card, so it's really strong. And I think three was fine. You could play four if you really wanted to, but I think three is the perfect number. Up next, we have our free blocker. He's going to help a bond as well. Uh, just a free blocker if your leader's Lord Slug pretty good so I would play three I wouldn't play any more you could side a fourth if there's a really aggressive deck but three in the main deck is pretty solid up next we have the three drop probably the other best card in the deck besides wings in my opinion this card is nuts uh, you can just tell by playing it your opponent is just like frizzled they just don't know what to do I defended this card with my life because everyone just was trying to kill it and it's fantastic card. It's got crit, 15,000 power. It's going to probably usually be a two drop or you can cheat it out to play for one, which we'll get into. It's got bond two. Whenever this card attacks, it can attack battle card, attack leader. Your opponent discards a card. So this is going to be insane. You can spam these on the board pretty easily and it's going to rip your opponent's hand and provide crit pressure. Just a fantastic card. Up next, we have the new agent slug. This card is really insane. This is the card that you want in the discard pile. You can combo or you can activate main on your leader. Most of the time you're going to activate main on the leader. Get it in the discard. Um, when this card is played, your opponent discards a card. Uh, it's got 20,000 power. Activate main. You play one green. You can play a th original cost of three or less from your hand. So basically your main target is going to be the... Uh, three drop warrior so very awesome card you can just in an instance you can have a lot of things on board and it can be pretty scary up next uh, I did not play this Friday but the deck seems to not have much removal yes we have options we have preemptive and father son but I kind of wanted more we were playing banisher foo but I wanted to get rid of overrun and piccolo was a good option I didn't play it much but in theory, it seems good. When I did play it, it worked out. Uh, it's got barrier, double strike, 20,000 power. And once per turn, activate main, you can pop a card. So you just basically have them sit there on the board, pop your opponent's things. You can deny them with preemptive. Just really control the board while you control the hand. So it's not necessary. That's why it's a two of, but it's, it's still nice. And I'm glad I played it. Up next, we have four... Uh, four drop Lord Slug, Young again. This card is really insane. It has Bond 2. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, this card will count for itself on Bond 2. So all you need is basically usually wings in this card. Uh, when this card is played, you will get the Agent uh, Lord Slug from your discard and play it. And then Lord Slug also untaps one energy. So you're basically with wings on the board, you're playing this Lord Slug Young again for two mana. That's ridiculous. Two energy. And you just have a 20k, two 20k beaters. And then the uh, three drop has an effect. Then you can activate main on the three drop agent and then play the three drop warrior. It's just for three energy, you have three things on board. It's really insane. You do have to be careful for Kami, but if you know your opponent's not playing it, you're in for a good time. Up next, we have three drop or three of the six drops. Sorry, uh, three is the perfect number for this. I would not play more. You can uh, play your tutor if you need to find it. Uh, if you find it early game, you can charge one. It's it'll be okay. But you ex evolve for two green. You have to discard a card. This card's going to go on the four drop Lord Slug. Uh, when this card is played, bond three, so you need to be careful. You're going to have to have two cards and this card. Um, your opponent, excuse me, your opponent's going to discard three cards. So this card is really insane late game. It's just going to put you over the edge. They're going to usually have four to three cards in hand and just, you can play this. They discard the three, you activate main on leader, they discard another card, hand's gone. 
So fantastic card. Uh, three was perfect number. Up next, uh, this is something new that I added for Saturday's event. Overrealm was conflicting, in my opinion. So, what's the next be best option? And that is Shinron. Probably one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. This card is just fantastic. It can fit in most decks, and you don't have to force it. That just means it's a good card. But this card is really good. It helped out a lot. It just made the deck more smooth. It definitely helps with preemptive as well. Because you are most of the time untapping to and drawing a card every turn. So you're going to see more of your pieces. You're going to be able to expand board state and also untap for defense. So fantastic card. I would definitely try this build if you guys haven't. If you've been playing Overrealm, uh, give that a break and try this. I think this was pretty solid. Up next we have Father Son, uh, two of. Two of was perfect. Um, you can deny big threats early game. It's just easy removal, but the only drawback is you have to do it on your turn. So you have to usually survive a turn, like if you're playing against babies, stuff like that. But it was solid. Uh, if you think you don't have to play it, you can easily side it out or you can charge it or you can activate main. That's why I like this deck because there's not necessarily any dead cards because you just have some options. Up next, um, you can change around the negates. This is the number that I ran Friday with the Overrealm package, and I just didn't switch it. We're not playing Overrealm, so you can play more Shocking Death Ball uh, than Sacrifice, but Sacrifice is really good because uh, early game, if they have, like, if you're playing against Broly or Baby, and they're hitting you for triple or double, you can sacrifice and just take one life. There's no sparking, All your, you just have to have Lord Slug Leader and you can take one from life to pay the cost. So it's very good early game, but uh, Shocking Death Ball is just better in general because you can do the same, but also pop a two drop or less, but you have to have sparking five. So. I think 3 sacrifice 2 death ball is fine, you can side deck more death ball. It just depends on the matchup and what's around your area, but 3 sacrifice 2 shocking death ball was fine, it shouldn't matter that much. Up next we have the final card in the deck, this card was insane this weekend, preemptive strike, I'm glad I played it at 3. Uh, this card was just insane, um, it just put fear in many of my opponents. Especially with the Shinron untapping two, I always had two untapped, and Preemptive Strike was really good against the Skillless Son Goku deck that is everywhere. That deck is really popular within good reason, um, but Preemptive basically it doesn't win you the game, but it makes the matchup like 50-50 almost. You're probably a little bit favored. It's just that matchup is ugh, I don't like it, but. You can you just rip their whole hand and then they can get it back. But preemptive is good against the one drop, um, so they can't replenish their hand because it feels bad. I didn't have it one time. My opponent played the one drop and uh, just got his hand back up and it just it felt so bad. But preemptive was clutch. Uh, but this is the deck I ran um, again. The deck, in my opinion, isn't super competitive. It is a lot of fun. It's good to take two locals and take a break from if you're grinding really like tier one decks and you just want to play something else give this deck a try it's really fun uh, it did it has done well in recent events but I feel like maybe it just snuck in maybe I just feel like hand disruption is not at a good uh, point in the game right now and I'm glad I played it but I'm not going to invest too much time into this deck but it's it's still pretty solid. Wings has made the deck playable, and that's pretty cool that one card can just, well, I guess two because of the agent, but this deck, it's a lot of fun, but I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Let me know down below if you guys have played any other uh, cards in the deck, like if you want me to try out different options, let me know, but this deck seems pretty solid. I'm, I'm pretty confident with the build. Side deck, you can do a lot of different options. But I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. Peace!